Hello, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I will be showing how to use carousels in Flutter. So this is a demo of the app that we are going to build, where we will have a list of images in a carousel and a page indicator and a previous and next button to navigate through the carousel. So we have an empty template now and I am going to paste a list of images and we are going to need a variable to indicate the current index of the carousel so I'm going to declare a variable in current equal to zero now to use carousel we need to have a package uh, so we need to go to our uh, pubspec.yaml file and we need to add this package I'll be providing the link in the description all right so let's go back to the UI and uh, add a child which is a column I'm going to align the items so main axis alignment and the cross axis alignment to center and the children so we're going to add the carousel so let's import the package so once we have added the carousel package we can use the carousel slider widget so the first child is a carousel slider which will have a height of 400 if you are providing the height the aspect ratio will not work so you can use either of those and the initial page is set to zero and the on page change callback will take the current index of the slider and uh, we are going to update our local variable current equal to index all right so the error is because we have not provided the items for the slider so let's provide that so for the items property we are going to use image urls uh, image list dot map and we need to map each image uh, to a widget so i should return a list of widgets to convert that to a list and inside that we are going to return a builder and the builder will have a builder property so the function will take the builder build context so build context context and return a container and the container should have the uh, content for the for each slider so I'm setting the width to the maximum available in the screen so media query dot of context size dot width all right and uh, the margin will be let's set it to edge insets dot symmetric and a horizontal margin of let's say 10 okay now the decoration I'm going to give a box decoration and let's give the color property so color will be colors dot green and the child will be our image that is downloaded from the internet so image.network with our image url and let's fill the image so provide the fit property to box width dot fill okay save that so now we have our carousel in the ui so let's explore the other properties for the slider so go back go back to our carousel slider and let's provide uh, at large center page so the center image should be bigger now okay okay the next property let's set the auto play to true so it should automatically slide to the next image okay so the next property let's set the reverse to true so it should go in the reverse direction so let's set it to false and 
the next property is autoplay interval so it will take a duration I'll give it in seconds so every two seconds it will slide to the next image okay and the next property is let's set the autoplay animation duration so that will also take the duration let's set it in milliseconds so let's set to 800 and uh, so you don't see much difference so I'll change that to 2000 so now you should see the change so it's slowly animating now all right now the next property will be pause autoplay on touch so when the user touches an image the autoplay will stop for 10 seconds all right so let's try that so i'm clicking on this image so after 10 seconds the autoplay should start so let's wait for a few seconds there you go so that's what's working now let's set the enable infinite scroll property to false so once it uh, reaches the last image it will not scroll to the first image all right so as you see in the screen okay let's set it to true okay so it's back So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to set the scroll direction by default it is horizontal but we can set it to vertical as well so now we have a vertical slider okay so let's set it back to horizontal now let's add a page indicator to the ui so let's give some spacing after the carousel slider all right now we will add a row with mean axis alignment center and the children uh, to map the children to each uh, to map the indicator to each image we are going to write a mapping function so list of t is a generic object and map uh, that will take a list and a function so let's call the function handler so it will return a object with a with the image and the function so let's look through the list of images and call result dot add with the handler handler will have the current index and the image URL all right so let's return the result and go back to our UI and call this method. So remove the widget array and call map widget and it will take the image list and the function. So the function will have the index and the URL. So we need to return the page indicator here. So I'm going to create a container. And the container will have a width of, let's set it to 10. And the height, 10. So we need a circle indicator. So let's set the margin to edge insets dot symmetric vertical 10 and horizontal to 2 okay and the box decoration we are going to set it to a circle so we will have a circular page indicator so set the shape to box shape dot circle and if the current image is selected, the indicator should show red color. So 
that if the current index is equal to index, it will show red, red accent. Otherwise, all other indicators will show green. Okay. Save that. Okay, now we have our page indicator. So the first image is selected, second, third. If you scroll also, page indicator will point to the right image. Okay, so let's give some spacing and add two more buttons to the bottom of the UI. So the main axis alignment to center and the children will have two buttons. So let's add two outline buttons and on plus one button we are going to write two methods. So go to previous and for the text I am just putting a less than symbol and we are going to do the same for the next button. So go to next and child will be a greater than symbol. Alright, so let's set the autoplay to false and let's write a dummy go to previous and go to next function. Okay, save that. So we have our two buttons in the UI now. Now we need to have a handle for the carousel slider to go back to the next and previous slide. So declare a variable and assign our carousel slider to that. And go back to a function and call carousel slider dot previous page with a duration. Let's set the duration to say 300, which is in milliseconds and the second property curve so you can have animation curves dot let's set it to ease so I'm going to copy that and paste it inside go to next and change function name to next page all right and the curve to decelerate all right okay so let's see Okay, it's going to the next page. So indicator is also changing. Okay. Now let's change our scroll direction back to vertical. Now let's click on the next and previous buttons. Okay. Next button is working. The previous button is also working. Perfect. Now I'm going to set the autoplay to true. So, okay, perfect. So, that's all about carousels in Flutter. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also, hit the bell icon for notifications. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.